With both the Roosters and Titans struggling at 2-5 and five for season 2011, motivation should not have been a problem in this round eight encounter at Skilled Park. However, the home side had the added incentive of attempting to avenge last year's loss to Brian Smith's side in the preliminary final. The tricolours were far too good on that occasion and they started confidently here as well, with a four-pointer coming inside the first ten minutes after some smart work by Tom Simons on the short side. Leilua will score for the Roosters off the back of it and the Titans can see the try. Following a month out of action with a knee problem, Preston Campbell was a late inclusion at fullback for the coast and couldn't believe it when his long ball to David Mead went to waste. Terrific chance there for the Titans to level the scoreline here as the 25 minute mark approaches and the pass was a beauty. A couple of other chances went astray for John Cartwright's unit and they both involved tearaway forward Ryan James. Picked up by James, he plunges over but it won't count. The first one was a straightforward call for the man in the middle but the next one required the scrutiny of video referee Chris Ward who rightly ruled that the ball had been lost forward into the Roosters defenders. Just two minutes after that miss the Titans got it right thanks largely to Ashley Harrison's ability to stand in the tackle and offload. Prince away to Tonga for Michaels and they got there eventually. Scott Prince put it over from touch to put the locals ahead. Terrific kick from Scott Prince. However, right on half time, James made illegal contact with Mitchell Pearce as the halfback tried to reef the ball downfield. And Braitha Nasta banged it over to send the two sides to the sheds, locked together at six points apiece. A mere 90 seconds of second half endeavour was all the Gold Coast required to regain the upper hand through the sheer foot speed of William Zillman. He'll go to the line and score for the Titans. Roosters rookie Lama Tassi came off the bench and made an instant impact. Oh, Lama Tassi! He hit Greg Bird with everything but the kitchen sink. Greg Bird was stunned by that collision and walked off the mark with the penalty providing field position for the visitors that Frank Paul Nuasala made spectacular use of. Pierce, good ball, Frank Paul Nuasala! So the scores were level again until Pierce opted for the one pointer with 14 minutes left on the clock. Mitchell Pierce wants to take the lead and they will. It was still there to be won by either side, but it took a try from out of the blue by the boys in blue to swing things around. Gets away from Minichello and David Mead will take the lead back for the Titans. In producing a possible match winner, Mead had made up for his first half shocker. And then with three to go, the Z-man swooped as the Chooks choked to put a couple of vital competition points in the bank. And the Titans will win this one. Those late twin strikes by the Titans saw them sail home to triumph 24-13. And it may just be the spark that sets their stuttering season alight while last year's runners-up are left looking for answers on the back of four consecutive defeats. David Rollins, Big Pond Sport.